Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the IAQA Technical Director, bringing you today's IAQA Tech Tip. We know that damp buildings can cause health problems, but how do buildings get damp? One of the many ways is via condensation. In today's IAQA Tech Tip, I'll help you better understand the science behind condensation. There are water molecules in the air. That's what we call humidity. But what causes all these molecules to condense? The simple answer is that they condense on cold surfaces. A more accurate answer is that they condense on surfaces that are cooler than the dew point temperature. That still doesn't explain why they condense. Water molecules are in the air in the first place because of energy. They had enough energy to escape the intermolecular and other forces at the surface of liquid water. Although these, uh, these molecules are now free and bouncing around in the air, those intermolecular forces are always present, wanting to draw the water molecules back into a liquid state. As long as these molecules have enough energy, they can overcome the intermolecular forces. As the water molecules cool down, they lose kinetic energy and are overcome by the intermolecular forces, which draw molecules together into a condensed state, causing, you guessed it, condensation. We see condensation on cold surfaces because the air surrounding the cold surfaces cools down past the dew point. As the condensed water heats up eventually, it'll go back into the air again. To learn more about moisture indoors, IAQA has a new free online class by Lou Harriman, which is part of the IAQA University. For more information on that free class, please visit the IAQA website at iaqa.org.